on guys welcome back to clash of the Eric. so season three of the esl mobile open tournament is underway phase one is happening right now and that means it is open sign up for any team that wants to join so if you have a five person team from north america and you want to sign your team up you can come out here win some money and win some free trips to go to atlanta at dreamhack where the top two teams of this tournament are not only going to win big money but they're going to be playing on stage at dreamhack atlanta and it's going to be awesome i went to dreamhack Hack Dallas and we won there against Coastal Clash and the finals for season two is in a few weeks on the 28th of September so if you have not got tickets for that then get them now and meet me in New York City to play at the ESL one stadium and we'll watch Coastal Clash and WHF duke it out there on September 28th so Let's get into the action here and go see how phase one is progressing for one hive. We are two and O in the season right now, and we're going to try to make that three and O we're going against playmakers. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And speaking of playmakers, they are a sponsor for the channel here. So right there, oh, right there is a contest we have going on. So if you have done a cool attack and you want to get featured on the channel here and be able to have a chance to win one of these free jerseys here, then you'll be able to enter that contest and the winner will be voted during the live streams and we'll be able to have the fans vote between the top three finalists and the winner will get a playmakerswanted.com jersey so with that let's go get into action all right guys raise is in right as i jump online we are underway for round three of the esl mobile open for season three we are 2-0 right now let's see if we can make that 3-0 looks like he's got a wizard and a baby dragon form the funnel here heroes punching with the wall wrecker rage comes down he's got an ice golem traveling along with them ice golem breaks to the bottom side there the heroes are going to step up and take up the town hall he gets a cc pull and he has a dragon a witch a balloon and a couple archers a poison is gonna have no problem to do with that the ice golem that came out of his wall wrecker with that pekka pops and freezes up that cc lock it down into that poison he's gonna get huge value out of the heroes here as he continues on the queen is still at full health with ability with no hound in that cc she's gonna get huge value and be able to continue on after the town hall kill so working his way up through the hogs from six o'clock there approaching the enemy queen He's got to get the skeleton spells on point here to bring down that queen. That's vital to make this attack work. Let's see if he can make it happen here. Heal comes down as he approaches that enemy queen. And there's the skeleton spells. And does he get her down? Pop that warden ability. Uh, I don't know if the skeleton spells are inside the warden ability. It's hard to tell right there. They, looks like she's going down. Looks like she's going down. Continuing with another heal. Finding a tesla farm at 3 o'clock. Working his way into the inferno. He has one more heal to work with. The queen breaks the wall over at 11 o'clock and steps up and takes out the inferno over there. And I think that is going to put the nail in the coffin for this base. A hound would have stopped her from being able to progress into the base. And using a dragon and a witch, he's able to quickly take it down and move into the final area with the hogs with that inferno already down to the queen. So this one is absolutely crushed here by Ray's. And definitely a hound would have slowed that down and maybe gave this base a chance, but I think that he would have had it either way. He did end up using that last heal a little bit earlier than he absolutely had to, and he could have held it for the last Inferno had the queen not taken down that Inferno. But the value of that kill squad was absolutely phenomenal. Took out the town hall, the CC, and everything around it, including all those expos, and then steps up and takes out the Inferno and raise with um, almost a minute to spare here. Look at all the traps going off as he crosses the base to go back for that storage. And it looks like we got another live attack here. So, Raze, good job. But let's go see what is going on next here. All right, it looks like it was Chubbs. Let's see what he's doing here. He's got, looks like a kill squad hog attack coming in opposite of the town hall with that kill squad though probably going after the eagle and the queen forming the fun on both sides here pekka at 10 is finding some teslas and it comes up short he's gonna have to find a way to re-establish the funnel over there he's got more pekkas to work with so he should be okay the pekka at one o'clock is starting to veer off towards three and is not stepping into those storages and he's gonna reinforce that with a couple of wizards luckily they're outside of the range of any of the defenses so they can finish off those storages from the outside and he has another pekka come in at, at nine clock and finishes off the archer tower and they should step into the base here after they fight off the enemy king and follow into the jump 
let's see what they can do here the wizards work on the outside they're gonna get roasted by the inferno and just the heroes and the pekka are gonna step into the base here so let's see looks like all the archers ran off and are gonna zip down towards six o'clock and start to clear out the trash on the outside we'll see how far they make it through as the heroes are stepping up the queen is out ahead there and she's getting targeted by all the expos he pops her ability and he gets a cc pull i think he was really really hoping there would be a hound here because he's not going to make it through that cc a poison will get him most of the way down but is not going to finish off that dragon that dragon is going to cause some big problems here let's make sure that he can at least get the two star here he's got the earthquake to activate the town hall but the dragon is going to cause some big problems here so in come a couple hogs here trying to lure it out and finish it off it's oh it's not a very low health there he's running out of cleanup troops here guys this is this is uh, starting to get really really dangerous here hogs are coming in he's got the stone slammer that he can use as well dragon starting to pick off hogs uh, if he could have got that dragon lured away this might be a little bit of a problem here he's got to get the town hall come on work your way in he's got the earthquake he still has the warden he can get the access of the hogs coming out of the wall or the stone slammer i mean onto the town hall he should be okay here he popped that warden ability he is getting targeted by the dragon and there we go hogs in the town hall can they get it come on hogs come on hogs Are you kidding me get a one star it's gonna one star guys wow oh that's a heartbreaker right there guys offsetting the three star that we just got it's a one star that town hall came so close that dragon wrecked him if it was a hound in there then this whole base would have been completely smashed assuming that he didn't miss that town hall anyways but look how low of a hell it's at we're coming out of that one with the one star that's gonna set us back guys but we're okay we're okay we can keep going well this war is off to a rough start we got the three star we got the one star that's going to counter it and we got to get a three star now because they just three starred us and they're up. We are at a two star average and I need to three star this base. So I've got an idea for a yellow trone and we're going to see if it works. So let's go hit it. All right, guys, troops are ready. We're going to go in with a yellow trone Laloon on this base. So e drag kill squad if you're not familiar with it but we need to have the heroes clear everything around the nine o'clock inferno and then we can charge the e drags to push in through the inferno to the eagle and the queen and then we'll la loon from the top side so i think we're ready let's go do this we're live so let's start it off with the queen outside of the range of all the defenses as soon as she is about to get targeted by that can we'll drop the king now and we'll let them work. We'll drop a wizard down here to work with the king and come in from the bottom of the base here. I want him to enter into that channel towards the eagle. So we'll push the queen along here. I want her to step up and take the air defense and then die before she pulls the CC. I don't want her to go too far. That's why I didn't put an ice golem with her this time. So we'll pop that king. And we'll watch our queen pop her. All right. Okay. So far, so good. Let's uh, send in a test balloon. That's for black mines. We need to select my stone slimer. Almost messed that up. All right. A uh, couple e drags. And we'll get a rage. And get ready for poison and another rage. Dragon has a CC. We'll poison that. We'll freeze all that together. Can we get the queen too? Oh, no. The e drags got the queen. Perfect. All right. We're doing good. Looks like my dragons are breaking to the bottom side there. They should take out the air defense down there. Let's send in the Lalan. I'm not quite at 50% here. Let's see if we can get some percentage. Oh, e drag activate the town hall. We're going. We're going. Here we go. Let's uh, go heavy on the 10 o'clock side here. Collapse in this town hall. We will haste and then we'll freeze the town hall and the air defense. Ready for Warden. Haste again. Warden. All right. Here we go. Another haste. They're bunched up really bad here. Hopefully that doesn't mess up my path. And we'll earthquake that. We'll heal that. A couple more balloons. We'll snipe off the Arger Tower over here and work our way into the Tesla farm on the backside here. So I'll get a last of our cleanup troops down. Oh, yeah, guys, this is absolutely crushed here. Gun Casper from Playmakers. Your base is done.
Yolo Trone has absolutely blown this one out of the park there, even with, I think there was a witch and a dragon that came out of the CC. So even with that, this pace is crushed. And if we're gonna bring in the three star and give one hive a chance to come back here and hopefully we can get another three star and close it out. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. All right, we're back ahead or tied up at least. Here we go, guys. Last attack of the war is in, and we're on defense this time. Let's see what Tiz can do against level 8 Pidgey. Level 8 Pidgey using Gaku's Legend Link base here. Let's see if it is strong enough to hold in war here. We are tied on stars right now. We need to defend this either to a 1 star or a low percentage. We need them to get less than about 80% to have a chance to be able to win this on percentage because stars are tied, guys. Stars are tied. Queen Walk looks like it's coming in at 3 o'clock. He's got that E-Drag working its way through. Balloons did not quite get the Arch Tower. The E-Drag does step up and take it. Now, does the Queen want to enter in the corner there? Which way is she going to walk here? Looks like there's not... He's not clear trash on the corner there. He's got an Ice Golem, a Wizard coming in the top side, a couple Hogs come in to try to go in after that Arch Tower and form the other side of the funnel to break that wide, wide outer ring around the entire core of the base so that his troops do not walk and they actually enter the base. Here comes the Wall Wrecker. Got a ton of bowlers and Pekkas. The Earthquake spanning that huge gap. Activate the Town Hall, getting everything down to low health here. He's got the Hound drawn out of the CC. He's got the Queen engaged, and that Queen is actually not getting hit yet. He's got the Hound that is popping right there. The Pups are going to be mostly inside the Poison, but they are a little bit spread. That it is going to take the little Queen a little bit of time to get through that. He pops the Warning ability, going to the Town Hall. Town Hall's down 42%. Can he reach 80? That's the question. Think about it, 80% or less, and we will win. So let's see what we can do here. He's got the healers holding the P.E.K.K.A.s. The queen is separating, but she can get access to that Inferno. There's not a lot of fire on her over there. The Ice Golem is protecting her from the trash over at 3 o'clock, but the Ice Golem gets launched as the P.E.K.K.A.s work their way through the Eagle and the Expos over at 9 o'clock. The healers keeping them alive there. He's got... Looks like one of the healers is getting picked off by an Archer Tower behind them. 58%. Come on, defense, hold. Take out. Okay, healers are down. Healers are down. Pekka's are starting to get whittled down. I think we got this, guys. I think we got it. Oh, look at that queen over there. She's gonna pop her ability. Oh, she had her ability. 66. Pekka. What? One Pekka left? Queen still doing work there. Archer Tower. Don't take down the Archer Tower. There's nothing. Is Pekka gonna die? No, come on. He's out of the side of the range of the Tesla. Are you kidding me? He, he couldn't have walked like three steps further and get shot. Oh, man. Queen, ah, uh, Queen takes a Tesla. 20 seconds left. Got to reach 80% here. Can he make it? 73, 74, 76, 77. 78! 80... What, what got the 80%? Oh, man. Well, there it is, guys. Playmakers Wanted wins on percentage. 11-11 tie. So, good job. Nice war. We'll meet again. We'll meet again. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Make sure you go out there and sign up your teams for the ESL Mobile Open and also enter into the Playmakers Wanted contest for your chance to win a free PlaymakersWanted.com jersey. So that's going to be it for today. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.